All right, halfway point of the season. We are going up against Palo today. I'm using my last Power Star 1 right here. Um, and I'm going to be using this for two fights. So I have a White Mags pre-fight on this. And I'm going to be cycling SP2s. Uh, the note has insult to injury though. And right here I did not expect the two or three debuffs that I had on me to prevent the parry. Um, I probably should have been ready for it, but I was not. Uh, so I end up getting hit twice by him. And then insult to injury is also going to prevent a parry here. I'm going to end up getting backed up. And um, without being able to armor break him, because insult to injury is preventing that, I wanted to wait until reverb was off before throwing my special two. So I launched the last one there, and he goes down. And then next up is this Quicksilver. I'm going to get two charges on this fight. Start the fight off by parrying and throwing a light so that he evades on purpose. Then I'm going to knock him down, get the evade charge. And I have Proxima on the team this war for a couple of later fights that I'm going to be taking. Um, at this point, Corvus is hitting 11 six mediums which is just beastly with one charge uh launch the special two pretty much gets me back up to another one launch it again fights over corvus is an absolute animal uh moving into section two i'm going to be on path three i'm not using a power star one for these next couple fights um just because it's not needed so this guardian is a sloped armor and uh if you hit him while he has an armor, you get a shock, but Corvus is shock immune with glaive charges, and I armor break on parries. And I mean, nine hits in, 70% of his health is gone. That's just absolutely bananas. And down he goes. 16 second fight without throwing a special. So next up here, I actually used a couple of the uh, war energy refills this war. Um, just to be able to move through stuff quicker and uh my alliance mate dp it was uh it was very late for him and he had a fight that he had to clear in s3 so i wanted to help get him there um so this fight just gonna parry one hit if he builds some armors just parry again to remove them no big deal corvus just hits so hard at this point three charges i really thought that special one might kill him but one more hit, down he goes. Another 16 second fight for Corvus. Such a beautiful thing to be able to have 16 second fights in war, not gonna lie. It's uh, it's pretty sweet. So next up I have this Omega Sentinel on 53. And uh, I took this fight last war, the war before with Hercules, and I used a Power Star 1 so that I could get around the auto block. But this time I have Proxima on the team, so I don't have to worry about auto block because Corvus has the true strike, I believe. Yeah, true strike. Um, Hercules is true sense, Corvus true strike. There we go. It's been a long day. I'm kind of tired right now. Um, so the basic plan for this one is just medium, light, medium. If I can land an intercept, I will. Otherwise, I'm just going to bait heavies and special ones for openings. And, uh,. It's going to be a super fast fight. So the fight after this, I have Misty on 55. And uh, I went, I dueled her for like 10 minutes, right? I read all of her abilities. I understood like how her charges build up, equilibrium, unblockable, all that fun stuff. And uh, something's going to happen in this fight, an interaction that I did not expect. So when she finishes a combo with a light, she gets one charge charge one kind of charge when she finishes it with a medium she gets another kind of charge she's about to do that on my block and i didn't realize that that counts so she goes unblockable there i'm like oh fuck i go to hit her she parries me five pieces me launches a special one an unblockable one i'm like oh crap i just need to get my charges back build up to my special two boom whoo fuck that was scary um yeah, that was almost the perfect storm of a death. Uh, gets the unblockable on my block, throws, parries me when I try to hit her back, throws a five piece right into special one. Uh, that was just silly. Um, so I learned something new about her that she can build charges by hitting your block. I thought it actually had to be a combo, like she had to hit you five times in a row. Um, 
but now I know better. So the plan for this guy is bait the special one, let him build charges, launch my special two for each bar of power I use. It takes 30 off. Now I have to wait out conduit. So I'm just waiting that out a little bit. I'm gonna get a couple hits in right before it drops off, before I launch my special two. And then now we're just repeating the process. Gotta bait out the special one from him. I don't wanna let him reach 100 charges because then he will trigger harvest and that will deal damage to me even if the special doesn't hit me. Last special two and down he goes. And uh, we ended up winning this one. Um, we were, BG1 cleared 50 and 0. And uh, at that point, I think Palo kind of gave up. Um, I think they realized that they weren't going to beat us. And I think they saved boosts because 37 deaths, Palo can do much better than that. They can do like a four, five, even better than that death war. And uh, yeah, I think they were just uh, taking it easy this war. Um, but good luck to Palo for the rest of the season. And that's all she wrote. Thank you for watching.